Just a quick test of the fans before installation. Uh, plug her in. I'm just running this on 4S right now on this uh, test setup. Make sure that's down. So for those of you who may not know, most of you I'm sure do, to reverse it, just switch. One set of the uh, wires here, doesn't matter which ones, and it will reverse So now it. it's pushing instead of pulling, and that's not good, obviously. <laughs> and that just uh, runs real nice. No play in them. I had a lot of play in the other ones, so... Uh, All is good then. All right, guys, uh, I'm trying to install these fans. The biggest problem is getting the ducts aligned. So what I'm doing, I'm using some of this whiteout and uh, seeing if I can get it so that I can see where the fan, I mean, where the uh, outlet goes so that I can remove it and put the tape on it and this is the only way I found to be able to uh, get it lined up it's a real pain in the ass but <laughs> it is what it is I guess so uh I'm sort of just marking it, and it should hopefully go where I need to go. If you have a better way, uh, just put it in the comments, if you will. Because uh, these ducks have a weird kind of twist in them. Okay, I'm going to try and get into this section here. Bloody hard to see, I tell you. This is the worst thing on this plane, is trying to get this stuff done. I can't see a freaking thing. But I can never seem to get them lined up properly. Oh, there, I think I got that. So I came up with this idea of using whiteout. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I've put a reference mark to get the centering done and uh, we'll see if it works I'm just gonna sort of draw a couple of lines here and hopefully that'll help so I've got one uh, screw in the mount just to flatten it out so I know where it is and then uh, the outlets sort of lined up as best I can get. I've not run the wires through yet. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but at least the uh, whiteout has given me a reference. Unfortunately, these fans are all carbon fiber. So you can't see a bloody thing. You can't mark it. You can't do anything with it. So the whiteout is the only thing I've been able to mark it. And I've even used a scribe to try and scribe it. And I had problems even doing that. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy to wrestle in. Just have to get this little twisty thing going. There we go, I think. Yeah. All right, now is the moment of truth. Are we lined up? That one is. And that one will work as well. So, we got it in. Wow. <laughs> that was a pain in the ass, to be honest. So, uh, now we'll drop the other one in, then we'll secure them in place. So let's reposition. Let's see if we can get the other one in now. 
Okay, my lighting is not very good, but those are fans. And the wing tube just drops right underneath. That's that yellow thing in there. I don't know whether you can see it. And then we'll go to the back, show you the outlets. So you can see how the uh, duct twists and stuff. And that one's good. This one's good. Now you can see uh, here, I have actually have to cut this piece back here. And what I'm going to do is put that aluminum tape overlapping from inside to on this piece here. And that will uh, glide, uh, allow the airflow to smoothly uh, exit. I probably made a slight mistake when I designed this. So that's what I need to do each time is just take this little section here and unfortunately it gets rid of the scale bits. But anyhow, uh, there's the business end and everything should be good.